everyone. Happy Friday. Um, I know I said I wasn't going to be doing a video this Friday, but nobody else could, so I'm just filming this in advance, and then Devin will post it on Friday, so thank you, Devin. Um, today I'm going to talk about If I Have a Wicked Stepmother, Where's My Prince by Melissa Cantor. Um, it's about a girl called Lucy who moves in with her new stepmother. Um, her dad remarried, then she has evil stepsisters, and it starts out very Cinderella-y. She goes to a new school, and, uh, she meets Connor, who's the guy that everybody wants, all the girls, um, and she said something about basketball, and he likes basketball, and they get together, and suddenly she has a lot of friends, and it's like, oh, Cinderella. And at the same time, she is an artist, and in her art studio, or in, in the room, um, there's this other guy called Sam, who at first, uh, she does not like. And you can kind of see, you, you can see where it's going, um, that they're eventually gonna be, they're supposed to end up together. Um, and at first I was like, oh no, because... Um, honestly, sometimes I just want, want the girl to get, like, the popular one, or the one that she likes, because I feel connection. It's not that he's popular, it's that I, she actually liked him, and the writing was, I felt like I wanted them to end up together at that point, but, um, I could see that that's where it was going, and I was like, okay, but, um, by the end of it, I th actually, it, it was one of those things where, um, by the end of it, I actually really wanted her to end up with him, and I, I really felt like their connection was written in a way so that it was there, and, I mean, it was a fun read, it was a light read, I mean, predictable, but that's nice, I like, some, sometimes I like books to be predictable and then you can just enjoy it as it goes along. So I liked it. This week's theme is fictional crushes, which is convenient since I keep a fictional boyfriends list. Um, number one is Jace from the Mortal Instruments book. Um, where to start with him? Well, he's first of all, he's hilarious. I mean, I would be literally laughing out loud at stuff that he says. Um, and, I don't know, he's just really brave and strong, and but, but also really sweet and soft sometimes. And, I don't know, he just feels good, inherently good. Um, number two is Ron from Harry Potter. Um, he's also really funny and just generally cute. Um, and he's, he's a wizard, he can do magic, I mean... That's cool. Um, plus, he's just the best friend type. Um, my favorite relationships are the ones that are rooted in friendship. Um, and, I mean, with him and Hermione, it's... I don't know. It just feels like they're, they're best friends also. So, that's really sweet. Um, number three is um, Gail from The Hunger Games. Um... He's also sort of the best friend type, um, and he's, he's just also feels really like a good person to me, and he stands up for what he believes, and, um, he puts other people before himself, and he's just very likable. Um, number f four, I think, is Jesse from the Mediator books. Um... I don't know. He, he just seems, he's really nice, and it feels like he's always trying to do what's right, and he always has good intentions, and he cares about people. I'm really running out of time, so the rest of the list is Fang from Maximum Ride, David from Uglies, Aiden from Girl at Sea, Ian from The Host, David from All American Girl, and James from Audrey Waite. Um, have a good weekend, and see you in two weeks.